good afternoon everybody uh, hi my name is dilan uh, and i am the product manager for veritas here at south asian technologies so uh, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, join us today for this in depth session on uh, some of the some of veritas's uh, flagship products along with uh, a few other technologies that we would like to share and stress more on today so uh, today we will be uh, basically covering uh some of uh, veritas's world class uh, data management tools uh, such as uh, net backup backup exec uh the uh, desktop laptop op options and giving you some latest information on uh, the veritas uh, saas application suite so uh, to take you further i would like to introduce our speakers uh mr harish harish kumar upadhyay who is our principal engineer and uh, mr prince uh, kumar singh a uh, system engineer for veritas india so uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time to join us today uh, over to you thank you thanks dilan thank you uh, prince if you can just share your screen yeah mm -hmm. Let me know how it's if you want. Yeah. Now, ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, welcome to the session, uh, team. Um, so, uh, thanks for the introduction, Dylan. Uh, so today in this, uh, uh, the next thirty or forty-five minutes to one hour, uh, we would be covering uh, what is Veritas, what is it uh, going to do? I mean, from a data management or a portfolio perspective. and uh, basically we will uh, have a kind of a little deep dive on a uh, few of the topics basically from the uh, the port protection portfolio uh, while uh, the main business of the veritas is on right so we will have uh, a kind of deep dive from the net backup tlo and the system recovery perspective uh, so please feel free to have your queries on the chat uh, while uh, Uh, i am presenting prince would be helping me uh, helping me to uh, address the queries or while prince would be uh, presenting i would be helping you on the queries as well so uh, we will split the sessions between us uh, basically uh, the net backup and a uh, few of the portfolio i will be covering and uh, prince would be taking across again uh, on the second half of the uh, session as well right so uh, most of us know what is veritas and what do we actually do i mean basically the moment veritas comes in the 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 thing which comes into our mind is the net backup right but we do lot more than the the protection portfolio here it's not only the net backup but we do the data management as well the information management as well right so let's see what we have in our uh, portfolio prince if you can just move the next slide so from the latin word uh, veritas means the truth uh, that's where we come in from and uh, that's what we are uh, and when we talk about the market share so we have been consistently uh, in the leaders quadrant for the last 15 times and uh, when we speak about the backup and archivery uh, archive uh, perspective we are uh, number 1 in the market and we also are into the software defined uh, storage uh, while we speak about the solutions uh, that's where again we are number 1 in the market and uh, from an integrated purpose built appliance perspective that's the hardware piece of this uh, veritas which helps us to store the backup uh, that we actually do from uh, the net backup uh, software and we are again uh, been in the market for very long time and uh, over the period of time we have uh, various flavors various models of the appliances and uh, we still uh, capture the market share in that place as well right so let's see a kind of a brief history of the net backup uh, way back in 1987 it was actually started um, it was started as a backup solution basically for uh, chrysler created by the control data in uh, 1987 which was actually rebranded again in 1990 uh, as abus 
and then again as uh, backup plus if you look at the most of commands that we have in the net backup you would be seeing this bp or bp in front of any commands right so that's where this backup plus is right that's where we have uh, been rebranded in 1993 and then it was acquired by open vision and uh, that's where you see open v as one of the directory in uh, the linux uh, uh, versions of the net backup and after uh, 1997 uh, we got this as a kind of a, uh, the product renamed as net backup by veritas and uh, we we were actually acquired by symantec uh, for quite some quite a bit of time uh, like in between 2000 uh, for to 2014 or sometime and then we uh, moved away from them we got separated and uh, we are uh, the veritas that you see now currently right so let's focus on what we do what uh, kind of uh, protection portfolio that we have uh, so we call it as 360 degree over here that means we cover the the data protection or the data management the data life cycle in three stages uh, basically the three pillars we call it as the protection the availability and then the insight right so uh, in order to remember probably what we call it as api so availability protection insight right and then from a protection portfolio uh, we have uh, the net backup which stands as the pillar for us uh, basically it helps us uh, with the enterprise data protection and the net backup appliance uh, basically the purpose built appliance which we talk about uh, the kind of a target based uh, uh, the storage which is enabled with the deduplication basically to support the backups uh, for the short term retention and the cloud point uh, and also the cloud catalyst uh, we will talk about it uh, with the latest features now the cloud point and the cloud uh, catalyst is also a feature of the net backup software itself that means uh, uh, we have got all this uh, multiple point solutions um, into the net backup itself so i'll talk about what is cloud point and what is cloud catalyst when we talk about the net backup over there and uh, backup exec dlo system recovery um, these are the smb kind of a data protection solution uh when we talk about the smb basically it helps us to have a kind of a capturing of uh, mid market or small businesses where your data workloads may be around uh, uh, the windows or the linux or unix platform with a smaller data footprint and not wide uh, variety of your operating systems nor your application as well right while the net backup covers most of the enterprise class applications and the protection portfolio <coughs> so coming to the availability part of the veritas uh, so basically when we say availability that means this is the piece of solution that comes in to help us with uh, disaster recovery or high availability kind of a solution right so the first one that we see over here is the info scale storage or availability so info scale comes in uh, two different uh, piece of features one is info scale storage foundation one is info scale availability so when it comes to the info scale storage foundation it helps us with the kind of uh, um, virtualization or the kind of uh, defragmentation and uh, providing you the kind of native uh, uh, multi pathing on a operating system so it's a software which gets installed on a operating system or the uh, os layer which helps us to virtualize your storage which helps us with multi pathing capability the defragmentation the file system which brings in from the veritas the volume manager which it brings in so these are the capabilities of the info scale storage that means it helps us with a file system uh, which is very robust and which is uh, a kind of a performance uh, oriented kind of a solution that means when you have an operating system with a bunch of disks or a sans storage in the back uh probably uh, you might have to have multiple point solution saying okay uh, one is native multi pathing one is your uh, uh, sans storage virtualization or the file system which comes in by default with the operating system so this efficiently handles all these layers in the operating system right and then when it comes to the availability part uh, so infoscale has one more feature uh, wherein it brings in the clustering part 
where we call it as Veritas Cluster Server. Uh, that's basically to help you with the application high availability between the two nodes or probably uh, within the data center which are there lying or across the geo. So that means the InfoScale availability solution helps us to bring in disaster recovery uh, across the geo as well. So most of the clustering services, if we look at the market that is currently uh, running, uh, provides you a kind of a clustering which is uh, within the data center or within the nodes or applications. But InfoScale brings in uh, the capability of having the disaster recovery and an automated disaster recovery across the geo as well. And uh, when we talk about the geo, it could be uh, on-prem or it could be in the cloud or it could be a hybrid as well. That means if you have any kind of an application which runs uh, on-prem to cloud uh, as a disaster recovery, it helps us to bring in the clustering services as well. Right. So this is at the application or the cluster or the node level of the InfoScale availability. Right. When it comes to resiliency platform, a bigger version of uh, high availability wherein uh, it's an automated process of uh, bringing in the capability of disaster recovery for entire application stack or the servers or the VMs which are running in a data center. So this is one of this is one kind of a software defined solution that provides you an automated disaster recovery for an entire data center. That means you have uh, two different sites, site one, site two, and you decide uh, to have a complete automated failover or a disaster recovery. So resiliency platform helps us in this scenario, wherein it brings us the automated recovery for all your applications in the site two. So whenever there is a disaster on site one, site two will automatically be brought up um, when we say automatically, it even brings up your DNS and the application layer as well. So this has a lot of customization within it, wherein it does the custom DNS records update. It does the kind of an IP update on the other side and it brings up the services as well. So that's where we call it as a automated disaster recovery solution. And when it comes to an access appliance, a bigger version of the NetBackup appliance, basically to replace the tape solution. Um, while the, the appliances form factor are pretty big, uh, it starts with somewhere around 280 TB of capacity, which grows up to four petabytes of uh, capacity. And access also comes in a software format. Uh, while it brings in uh, the kind of capability of uh, carving multi-protocol access on a hardware. That means you have a server with a storage or a SAN storage. Um, while you want to have a kind of multi-protocol like the object storage or the SIPs or a NAS storage uh, carved out of the storage available. So access brings in this capability. So this is all about the yeah, information or availability perspective, right? So next orange uh, color part talks about the compliance and the governance perspective, we call it as an insight. So this piece of solution helps us to have the visibility in the uh, data that has been uh, residing in a data center or an organization. So there are various solutions uh, split across the data insight, which we call it as uh, uh, kind of a file classification solution. Uh, basically, it helps us to identify what type of data you have in your organization when we say the type uh, it, uh, it it comes across your operating system, the structured and unstructured data, the un, uh, unowned data. That means there are so many hundreds or millions of files. Uh, probably uh, you might not know if it is being owned by a user or not. So it helps you to identify the orphaned data as well. That means a user who was actually using that particular share or a data and he has left the organization. So what do we do about those data? So do we have to retain it or not? Or it is simply lying in your uh, data store or the storage perspective. So it helps you to identify how much amount of data is uh, orphan data or uh, a kind of a user owned data. And at the same time, it helps you to identify uh, whether the data which uh, which you have it on your storage or the server or the application, is it a company confidential data, company related data or a PII, a personal identified data. And it gives you information, information from the region perspective. That means you have a 
multi region organization so uh, it gives you information per region be it it is on prem or the cloud so that's where the data insight helps us it helps us with the file classification it helps us with the visibility of the data right and then coming to the e discovery platform uh, this is kind of a, a legal disposition solution legal hold or uh, what we call it as uh, the electronic discovery of your data right i mean you have millions of files or um, uh, in your uh, mailbox or your storage or your files so if you if you are looking for a pattern of uh, data which you want to have uh, retrieved and uh, submitted to your uh, company or an audit purpose so this solution helps you to identify or a kind of a search uh, basically from a pattern and help you to uh, retrieve those data right and then aptar it analytics uh this is one of the uh, solution or the kind of a software which comes in with analytics uh, that means it brings in the kind of storage optimization analysis or the risk mitigation analysis and the kind of uh, cost analysis that means if your organization is having a number of storages uh, beat multiple vendors uh, this software can integrate with multi vendors and then at the same time it integrates on prem storages or the cloud storages and at the same time it has wide uh, adaptability to uh, integrate with uh, the hosts that means the operating system or the physical or the virtual machines at the same time the fabric that means the san fabric uh, fiber channel switches and the storages and the backup solution as well so this particular solution will have a kind of end to end visibility of your data so that's where when we generate the reports you will be able to uh, achieve a kind of a report wherein uh, one report can give you the entire information for example if you are looking for a kind of report from a host uh, wherein you just want to understand uh, how is the utilization of that particular host or what is the performance of that host it gives you an information from the host perspective what is the host operating system ip address host name and at the same time what is the backend storage is it a uh, local storage is it a san storage where is this uh, hpa connected which hpa is connected to which storage which storage array it is coming from probably some of the physical servers might get connected to multiple storages as well right so in a bigger environment with an enterprise customers where you have multi uh, storages this this uh, can happen and wherein you will be able to identify which storage array it is coming in from which lan it is coming in from and what is the performance on that particular lan as well so one report which gives you an information from end to end so that's what aptar it analytics is all about and at the same time it gives you a kind of a forecasting the when i say forecasting um, the trending of your storage utilization so it uh, so it gives you a, a kind of a visualization of your storage uh, utilization from the past 6 months to 1 year and then it gives you an analysis for the future as well by when your storage might get completely utilized so that you can upfront plan for your storages as well right and then it gives you the complete information of your virtual machines so how is the utilization so is it over utilized or some of the vms are powered off unnecessarily it is been utilizing the compute resources on your hypervisors and at the same time it helps you to understand the risks on your servers uh, when i say risk coming to the backup solution it gives you the analysis saying that some of the machines which are running in your environment are not protected at all or they are consecutively failing in your backup in, uh, backup infrastructure so there are policies actually which are Uh, failing with a consecutive uh, errors which are uh, normally uh, saying okay it's a host connectivity issue or some kind of a firewall issue or there is some issue on the host itself right it points to a kind of an error wherein you will be able to understand what is it failing so that you can see um, and then um, clear those errors or probably resolve those issues which are there on that host uh, so that next time when you have a backup it is a successful backup there right so it gives more analysis from a storage optimization risk analysis the cost optimization that means it gives you a kind of a charge back reports as well so that's what is all about the uh, aptar it analytics 
and when it comes to the enterprise vault it's the archival solution from veritas um, it helps us to do the archival of your on prem exchange mailbox o365 mailbox and the the kind of g suite or the gmails that you have uh, when it when we talk about the file storages or the kind of file shares with millions of files you will be able to archive it to the tertiary storage and when we have the archival it uh it keeps a stub on the source and it does a kind of cut and paste it it's not a copy and paste it's a cut and paste when we do an archival we keep a stub on your uh, source so that the stub points to the tertiary storage so this helps you to efficiently uh, utilize your primary storage for uh, recently archived or recently utilized data and then the older data gets archived onto a tertiary storage so that's the main uh, advantage of this particular enterprise vault solution and uh, this completes the uh, veritas portfolio uh, basically it helps in the protection availability and the insight right um, so let's let's walk around uh, the net backup uh, uh, solution over here uh, we'll have a little more deep dive on net backup and the appliance and uh, later uh, prince would uh, take it through the backup exec and the licensing part as well as the dlo part okay so the net backup uh, like i said it has almost uh, 30 years of history with uh, veritas over the period of time it has lot of advancements enhancements on the product solution and it's pretty robust in terms of the solutioning right so that's where uh, if you look at the kind of the data sources it supports uh, you have 500 plus data source support on this and it can support up to 150 plus storage target that means it has wide adaptability to have uh, the storage integrated and it supports 60 plus cloud vendors uh, that means the kind of uh, uh, long term retention that you want to have on your cloud so we mostly uh, adapt with the private cloud vendors as well as the public cloud vendors so that's where the count is 60 plus cloud vendors and uh, when we say about the we support every deployment model uh, that means we have uh, a software only solution wherein you just install it on a physical machine we have a kind of a virtual appliance and then we have a kind of a marketplace wherein you can just spin up the uh, net backup and bring up the net backup uh, kind of an instance in the cloud itself so these are the kind of various models that we have right so that's where we support the physical as well as the virtual as well as in the cloud so what all business challenges uh, does this net backup resolve that means how how efficiently it can help in a um, organization so when we talk about the backup solution what what all challenges that comes into your mind one is your wide adaptability so it should actually support uh, all your physical loads virtual loads and even the the kind of the advanced databases which are coming up in the market and then the kind of storage enhancements which are happening in the storage industry and the cloud adaptability which the most of the customers are taking up right so this particular solution it's a unified platform that means uh, it it is uh, capable of protecting most of the workloads that we talk about in the industry as of today it's a single pane of glass which supports all your workloads and enterprise ready when we say an enterprise ready uh most of the traditional databases be it your oracle sql and then the sharepoint or sap along with the, the latest uh, uh, databases which are like mongodb mariadb openstack and then the nutanix workloads all all of the latest uh, advanced databases or the virtualization are uh, compatible with the net backup solution over here and the wide capability of uh, having the storage integration or the kind of tape integration so uh, we have uh, like upgrades or enhancements on the solution uh, like the way the storage industry or the tape industry is uh, uh, enhancing or upgrading so we advance along with them that means we have uh, versions coming up almost every half an year or once in a year so that 
we have all your uh, uh, latest updates everything integrated or compatible with the solution itself right and when it comes to the manageability uh, we have the web ui the latest uh, web ui uh, which helps us to have a kind of a self service administration for the vmware sql and then oracle at the same time um, it helps you to minimize your manageability for the backup solution right so uh, this is all about the net backup uh, technical overview like uh, what all components are there and then how does uh, it actually help the virtualization what all storages uh, it gets integrated basically it helps you to do the kind of ost integration the the deduplication technology which we talked about the msdp and the cloud integration and when it comes to the reporting perspective uh, the net backup comes with the robust uh, reporting tool the op center which is built in again with the net backup licensing model that we have and the replication which we talk about between the appliances or the locations we call it as auto image replication which helps us uh, with the complete disaster recovery for the net backup solution uh, next slide please okay so when it comes to the architecture it's a three tier architecture uh basically it's a client media server and the master so the client the the backup that we do or the data source that needs to be protected uh, comes from various operating system or the the storages so we call it as the client and then the media server which we call it as the data more uh, <clears throat> it sits in between your client and the master server it helps us to move the data from your client to the target right so that's where we call it as media server uh, our appliances can be configured as a media server wherein it helps us to store all your client data onto its store its own storage devices right? and then the master server uh, basically it's the complete uh, heart and brain of the solution it helps us to do the indexing it helps us to do the scheduling managing of the complete backup solution over here and the op center basically it's a uh, reporting tool uh, it's not a mandate that you want to have it but it's a reporting tool if you want to have uh, a sophisticated reporting uh, structure in your environment so you can deploy the op center integrate with the uh, net backup and have a beautiful reports uh, extracted from this right so from an interface perspective uh, the the oldest uh, method or the methodology to have an access the command line interface uh still many of uh, the customers prefer to have the cli so that's the best uh, one to have and web ui the latest one that is updated to simplify the manageability and uh, the net backup appliances we'll talk about it next slide friends okay so let's uh, look at the net backup 8.3 enhancements uh, basically there are four major areas while we have the enhancements one is the workloads and the cloud the operational simplicity and then the security and compliance right. so from a workload perspective a uh, lot of enhancements from the vmware uh, the vmware enhanced got enhanced with the kind of the scalability uh, so the net backup helps us to protect uh, most of the the virtual machines which are deployed so if we talk about the numbers it it can protect up to 30000 virtual machines at stretch right and then the growing with the net backup uh, acropolis uh, we can have a kind of an incremental uh, updates or the incremental backups uh, for the net backup for the acropolis supported virtual machines and uh, to reduce the complexity of the microsoft uh, sql so we have the web ui update for the ms sql it helps us to simplify by adapting uh, the integration seamless integration seamless recovery the web ui i'm not sure if you can get, uh, go on mute uh, somebody is on thanks for that and uh, it also helps us to have seamless integration for the oracle and uh, the way we protect the nas is been upgraded 
so uh, we are slowly moving out of the ndmp pro kind of a protection portfolio so we call it as nas dynamic nas protection now uh, basically it helps us to do a snapshot based uh, backup for the nas filers and uh, when we talk about the universal share which was uh, a kind of a feature on appliance only now this is part of a software only solution as well so universal shares are nothing but um, to provide a nfs kind of an access to uh, nfs or sips kind of an access to the operating system or the servers where you don't have an agents for them um, for example uh, if i have to take a customer who is running a very old operating system or pretty a uh, new operating system which is not exactly in a compatible thing or if he is actually running a kind of incompatible application on his machine we can just spin up uh, this kind of a uh, universal share and provide the universal share access to those clients and uh, we can do a dump and sweep of that data onto the msdp which is on the media server itself so earlier universal share used to be there only on an appliance that's the hardware platform now which is with the software as well and coming to the cloud enhancements the first and foremost uh, enhancements that we have is on the cloud catalyst cloud catalyst used to be a kind of a hardware for us that means it used to be a kind of gateway uh, between the net backup on prem to the cloud so now uh, the cloud catalyst is not uh there as a product altogether it's a feature on the net backup itself that means uh if you have a media server on prem you can configure the msdp cloud catalyst on that media server itself and then you can seamlessly move the data from on prem to cloud so you need not have a kind of a hardware for moving the data from on prem to cloud so with this feature enhancements now we don't have any kind of a hardware or any kind of a gateway for moving the data from on prem to cloud right and then uh, the kind of uh, unified uh, recovery for the ias or fast layer that means uh, we have something called as a cloud point cloud point was a kind of uh, uh, solution itself altogether to have uh, the backup in the cloud that means if you are running instances in the aws azure or google we used to spin up an instance called as cloud point and uh, integrate with all the aws or google or azure and take the backup locally in inside the cloud itself onto an s3 storage with the latest enhancements on 8.3 uh, we have a cloud point as one of the feature in the net backup itself that means cloud point gets integrated with the net backup you can trigger the backups for all your applications running in the cloud through net backup itself so be it your net backup is on prem or in the cloud itself so cloud point is again a no more uh, point solution it's again a feature of the net backup uh, uh, capacity based solution right and then uh, veritas resiliency platform Uh, like i mentioned vrp an automated disaster recovery uh, solution is integrated with the net backup capacity based solution again uh, with the vrp integration over here you will be able to do the automated uh, disaster recovery to aws that means if you have a kind of an on prem backup uh, here and then if you have an uh, auto image replicated data to the cloud like aws or azure so we can do a automated disaster recovery for all your uh, machines which are running in on prem to the cloud so you can spin up the vms uh, instantly in the aws or azure right so this is again a feature which got integrated in 8.3 right and then operation simplicity so when we talk about the web ui lot of enhancements basically from uh, the application integration uh, the sql and oracle got integrated on the web ui and openstack vmware uh, so it was always there with the web ui update but you have the self service administration that means if at all if the uh, vm admin want to manage all his virtual machines on to his self uh, he can definitely do it with the web ui update currently so with the role based access control you can create a, a, a role for a user for uh, managing his vms there right 
and from a security and compliance perspective uh, very huge enhancements like i said it can have uh, ransomware resiliency uh, basically it supports immutable storages so the storages which are actually uh, capable of having the immutability now can be integrated with the net backup to have uh, immutable copy on those storages right so this helps us to bring in the ransomware resiliency at the same time a uh, lot of uh, uh, enhancement from a security perspective we have a lot of uh, hot patches security updates on the net backup 8.3 which helps us in terms of ransomware resiliency and then the kind of external key management server we we uh, simply call it as ekms it helps us to integrate with an external key management server if you have it with that uh, you will be able to do a 2048 bit encryption for your data that gets protected next slide please so uh, let's talk about the net backup appliance uh, net backup appliance is again uh, uh, it's been there in the market uh, for pretty uh, amount of time now it's a purpose built appliance it's an integrated solution that we call that means one single appliance has everything in it, into itself that means it has operating system it has the security it has the built in storages it has the io modules for uh, sufficing your external connectivity and the kind of uh, the semantic data center security built on to it helps us uh, have a kind of protection from any any malicious attacks which can happen on your data right so that's where it's an integrated solution purpose built solution purpose built means it's basically built to have all the protection for your data next slide uh so haris uh, sorry yeah. to stop you in between so since we we know that uh, we are trying to you know set a framework to sell the appliance in the sri lanka uh, as if now we are not actually uh, open for this appliance sell in sri lanka so i would like to you know take it from here uh, as the yeah. appliance anyway you have explained everything on the net backup front okay yeah so uh, thanks thanks aris for you know taking that entire uh, portfolio session and the net backup from here i'll take the backup exe and the dlo part hope that's yeah. fine yep yeah, thank you thanks so team uh, as as we've been you know hearing haris about the net backup about the you know complete portfolio very task portfolio let me tell you one thing so in the backup we have uh, multiple tool so haris was talked about you know enterprise data production edp which is net backup and then we have something called veritas backup exit 21 so uh, let's understand the difference between two product both are a backup tools right so where do we speak to uh, you know and uh, how do we position the backup exit and which uh, which infrastructure is actually uh, meant for a backup exit and which is for the back and net backup right so i'm going to talk about a bit of difference a uh, differentiation between both the product enterprise net backup enterprise uh, backup solution has got a vast operating system compatibility right so you can deploy on windows linux solaris yeah but backup exe is more familiar towards the microsoft offerings like if your customer and if any users is uh, more of a microsoft you know uh, you know service pro, uh, service uh, users they can you know go ahead and subscribe the backup exe right so yeah what is backup exe first of all so backup exe is again a piece of a software yes it is a software no hardware it gets deploy in all the models as the not backup uh, was you know uh, there here also backup exe can deployed in anywhere not only on on premise yeah if you want to backup your data which is already on a cloud yes we are there as well so uh, we are at the marketplace you just have to go bring your own license on the marketplace whether it's a aws gcp and azure go ahead spin up your vms deploy the binaries and just allow the you know keys to work on and then you can set up your infrastructure in a cloud so if this uh, if the slide is visible for you you could easily identify with the single pane of glass which is a backup exe master server or you can see an admin console you can monitor you can backup uh, you can restore everything 
right so starting from you know your workloads right microsoft workloads which you could see sql you know sharepoint exchange oracle all are supported virtual workloads are supported linux and unix uh, workloads are supported a basic flavor of course right remote offices also can be backed up through a single uh, you know net backup uh, sorry sin- single backup exit tool itself right you can create a disaster recovery which is very much possible here and then you can back up into any of your storages we are not here to ask you to buy a new storage for us to back up not at all we can leverage your existing storage whether it's a tape whether it's your disk with a plan or disk with storage or it's a cloud you tell me where to back up we will back up it right and we do not really have any uh, license for connecting your cloud as a storage so let's say if a customer for example they wanted to back up the data to aws right so do they require any license to connect from veritas site to the cloud no not at all you just have to subscribe your storage in the cloud backup exe on premise can you know backup it to the cloud right so those are the pictorial uh, view where you could see hybrid cloud are supported public cloud are supported and private cloud are supported right so the single pane of glass can back up your entire heterogeneous environment so we call backup exe as a flexible powerful and easy to use right why it is flexible because it gives you a flexibility to back up anything to anywhere right our theme is anywhere to anywhere so you are a virtual environment your company has got up most of the virtual environment few for physical environment or mix of your operating systems or mix of your you know workloads yeah you can back up it through the single console yeah that's true you heard it right you do not have to create a multiple console you do not have to depend on the multiple vendors It's to back up virtual environment to back up cloud environment to back up physical environment everything can be done by the single one tool which is called be backup x21 right it has a single solution and it is a storage agnostic right so those are the you know to, you know marks you can see on the right side that we are fast and reliable backup you, you can have a single pass backup all recovery options are there you can create a grt as well that means for example if you are backing up your uh, exchange server right you have backed up 2000 users now you want to restore a one users data back to the original location right what happened traditionally you have to entire you have to restore the entire dump of the data which is again time consuming and the ta- and the bandwidth will be also utilized but with the grt feature enable which is called granular technology recovery technology we allow you to just point out which data you should like to restore to the original location or to the alternate location and your job is done just point that file click on restore and it will be restored back to the original and the alternate location is there yeah then uh, we have built in disaster recovery functionality that means if you want to create a disaster recovery for your backup infrastructure you can just create a uh, click on a radio button icon called built in disaster recovery it will create a disaster recovery for you right you can convert the physical to virtual as well here right now how about manage how about you manage the data volumes right tomorrow if the data grows tomorrow your infrastructure grows is that backup exe uh, you know strong enough to handle those the answer is yes we can we can manage a large infrastructure as well provided the operating system supportability right we have source target and ost appliance global deduplication across all backup jobs this word you will not hear it from any other competitor global deduplications right we gives you a global deduplication technology across all your backup jobs you can enable the source side target side ost appliance side as well right this is up to you more of a policy driven solution you wanted to have a policy to have a, a storage type a storage side of deduplication 
you can do that you want to do a, a target size deduplication you can do that as well and you want to have a source size deduplication that is also possible with the backup exit 21 now uh, the the trademark solution which we have a technology you can say is a change block tracking so we create a cbt while backing up your data now the question is what is cbt cbt is nothing but a change block technology which enables your you know backup uh, which enables while backing up the data it understand which blocks has been changed which been modified and backs up the only those change blocks right while doing that so what we are achieving it here we are reducing the backup window first of all let's say if that backup was happening for about a 10 hours in a day for a full backup enabling this cbt you could see the performance and then when windows goes down to 2 hours to 3 hours right isn't that good while backing up uh, data to 10 hours now we are backing up in 2 hours we are reducing the manpower resources we are reducing the bandwidth and we are reducing the window right the, that's the magic of veritas backup exit 21 right so let's uh, move to the next slide if you have any queries please post it on the chat box my colleague haris would definitely address those queries or else we can wait till the end of the session and we can open this uh, channel for a q as well whatever you wish to do that okay now uh, why this slide is most and much and much in power nowadays ransomware resilience right so this backup solution is integrated with this ransomware resilience features so that means you could say in a layman term that we are giving you the assurance that we can back we can protect you from the ransomware now you the name ransomware itself is not so you know old and, and it is very very you know hard topic to discuss nowadays in this market you every day you get to hear this news that some of the other companies right are getting attacked by a hackers and they've been demanded to pay some ransoms to release the data right it is not necessary only the enterprise customer who is getting uh, you know affected they are not the only one who is a victim they are not the only one who is a victim even the mid market companies even the small uh, companies all are now under the same umbrella right so the hackers are targeting every small medium enterprise customer to you know protect the data and i'm uh, sorry to in, you know steal the data encrypt the data so that they can ask for the ransom right so why with this uh, this slide is important means if you think that your applications which is getting backed up is more critical to your business think about it what if if there is a ransomware attack happens to your application right your entire business will go down it will shut down right unless you have that data to be accessed from your user and then it will come on the you know the operations right so what we are making sure is if the data is been backed up through veritas backup exe we make sure that those data are protected from any other external threats right why we are doing it so tomorrow if that unfortunate incident happens to you you do not really have to pay a money to anyone else right you just have to rebuild your uh, hardware you have the backup copy with backup exe right under the custody of backup exe you ask backup exe to restore back to my data to my original location or the alternate location here you go your operation will be up and running you have your data back to you uh, you know applications on database and you can ask your user to access your uh, business Isn't that good? Yeah, this is. So that's why we've been, you know, keep on telling our customer, please have the backup in your infrastructure. This is more critical and important nowadays, right? Moving on, this is, uh, you know, how we are backing up our virtual machine. Virtual world is very common nowadays. Most of the infrastructure, most of the company is hosted. on a virtual machines right 70% 80% 30% 40% the percentage may vary but i am sure that 19% of our customer 
are a subscriber of a virtual technology right either they are using microsoft services or they are using vmware services right so how we are helping those customer who is using a virtual environment we give them a simple experience we create a high backup performance we tell them that your vms is always available right we make sure your vms are always available right how do we do that this is uh, you know few of the points which we could discussed and explain how simple experience how we are giving a users a simple experience it will give you a ease of use for across all your workloads it you know gets you backups in minutes yeah very quickly so first of all you will have a single console you do not have to depend on multiple console to manage multiple workloads it's a very one single console you can sit on your laptop open this a uh, console and see how is happening what is happening in your environment it is very easy to deploy right as like you deploy all your social media applications at uh, multiple next and accept and then right auto discover of vm that's the major you know uh, major enhancement what we have done this is for the users who has got a um, uh, you know vmware and who are actually ex- expanding their uh, vmware workloads so for a backup it backup admin i uh, it is very difficult to go and ask vm use vm admin brother did you add anything else today or have you have you added any vms to the uh, exsi boss tomorrow uh, today or yesterday or are you planning to do that so that is you know kind of a, a tedious work to go ask and then add it manually wherein backup exif brings you a technology to auto discover all the vms on the exxi host so for example if i have created a policy for a vms once today on the first of th- today 13th of january tomorrow if my vm admins adds two more vms on that exxi box i don't really have to worry about that my solution will automatically discover add it in the backup policy and will automatic perform a backup as well so that's the you know that's the beauty of this product then the next one is backup performance obviously it's very important the performance you should not take a backup window you should not have the backup window of 2 days and 3 days just to run a backup that will be again a headache one right so here due to a technology called faster incremental backups we keep on you know uh, picking up only those incremental data which is modified from the last full backup right we do not really back up the entire whole chunks of data because it has already been backed up while doing that so we are making sure the backup performance doesn't get hit you should always get optimized backup performance right instant grt yes again that improves your operations while backing up only those data which you want to do right now faster backup with the granular selections vm disk exclusions here you do not really depend on the all the disk which is attached to the vm uh, you know exxi box you wanted to just restore or uh, you wanted to select only few disk out of those multiple disk you are open to do so exactly okay so this is how we are making sure our backup performance hits in the high time right the last but not the least is vm availability so now you can access your windows and linux vms through a near zero rt so recovery time will be near zero i'm saying again it's a near zero that means this solution gives you a instant recovery functionality right you have a vms it will get mounted with the near zero uh, you know which is called rto near zero rto recovery technology right rpu point and this is a time right then the last one is your recovery ready ensure recoverability with the automated testing that means the software will automate test that recoverability that means if you are backing up something you should make you should be knowing that whether it is recoverable or not so this solution test that gives you insurance that yes you can recover this one and now instant cloud recovery so you can minimize the recovery time recovery point with the cloud offsite applications that means if you have a backup infrastructure here in uh, colombo at the data center right 
you wanted to create a instant cloud recovery so to azure with the help of this backup tools you can do that as well uh, so moving on uh, i think we uh, we are running some out of times yeah so yeah was there any queries okay if not moving on uh, this slide talk, talks about the new features which has been added uh, i can just uh, read it for you which is a backup accelerator this is again we discussed about the forever incremental that means in the vmware we change, check only the change blocks and backup it that means on the vmware our backup efficiency or the op, you know optimization would be very high right we support vspare 7.0 this backup tools has got a ransomware resiliency which again uh, protect you from any external threats you now have a two factor authentication that means you can create a two factor authentications to log in the date uh, on your console that means no unauthorized access can happen here without having your approval gdpr guard this is again for the european union okay not for us right so but if a some customer or users us from the european union this this solution itself has got the gdpr gdpr compliance features functionality all by default right call home it's nothing but a automated license update the feature will tell you so this is the license consumptions against the license this is the trend so after the down the line one year you will be utilizing this much license this much storage this is all automated functionality right uh, excuse me prince uh, i think there is a question do you want to take it now or at the end of the session yes it is yes answer is yes is the automated testing of okay. vmware is available in attack yes it is thanks dilan for bringing it so uh, now uh, we are at the uh, you know license options right so backup exec comes with the perpetual license uh, per instance license and subscription based license as well so uh, there are two license model you could see uh, i would say three license model one is subscription as you know that subscription is uh, use pay as per your use but here the subscription comes with the yearly subscription not with the monthly subscription so in the subscription part we have a gold silver and bronze offerings gold has got all the uh, features functionality which veritas backup the offers silver silver has got a bit less compared to the gold and bronze has got the lesser than the compared to silver and gold so this subscription start with 12 24 and 30 36 months terms not less than that now perpetual license and capacity based license perpetual license is nothing but a la carte as you go to the restaurant you get the menu right then you choose which uh, which uh, you know dish or which beverages you want to have and then you pay for that same way here in the uh, perpetual or a la carte you have our options to choose which license you want to have let's say you have a file server you want to back up only a file server so take the file server license that's it then we have capacity based license now the best license model for me as per my experience is capacity based model because we know that uh, the industry especially the the world in the digitalization mode are growing rapidly right so today things uh, there with uh, the company has got 2 terabyte or 3 terabyte of data where you have only one two servers but as along the go on the you know our grow in the market they'll be keep on adding the must uh, this workloads they'll be keep on adding the data so the capacity based additions make sure that you will not have any limitations while backing up any kind of workload so capacity based license will enable customer to download unlimited agent and back up unlimited times right provided the capacity should not get exhausted with that uh, our backup exe uh, overview is done we have completed the backup exe with the licenses fund now we are going to move to uh, dlo 
and i'll take not much more than a 5 minutes i know we are running short of time dilan but it's just 5 to 10 minutes and then we can open for q a as well so where it has desktop uh, we, we actually have time till about 4:30 uh, 3:30 sorry uh, oh, prince so, so i'll take it for 15 minutes uh, the dl and then 15 minutes q a what okay. do you say sure okay so uh, dl as the name itself itself suggests it is a tool a backup tool for your uh, workstations for your laptop for your desktop right so how uh, we are going to do that this is uh, architecture a small uh, pictorial view architecture where we tells you what we do with our product called dl we provide you a continuous data protection non intrusive agent operation we provides your self restoration capability you will be able to backup open file backup as well here we have vip user vip user supports and in point migration utility now those are the just the uh, names terminology right now if you have to explain it in a bit layman words continuous data protection that means you can schedule the backup till the minute continuously every minute there will be backup non intrusive agent operation that means the agent which is going to sit on your laptop will be so much light and so much light weighted and the less operative that your user will not even know that there is an agent sitting in the laptop and there is a backup happening right there will be no intrusive intervention while uh, your user will do their own job self restoration capability so that allow your user to restore back the cell the same data which he wants to by mistake we delete someone some data he can restore it back again provided you need to give them access a dl admin has to give them access open file backup that means if you are working on any excel file once you con- con- create say control s the file gets back you don't have to really close that file to back it is control s and then your file backs up now the vip users this is for the company's board of directors company's founders you can create a vip user support while creating that you are making sure the cio cfo and ctos data is not visible even for a backup admin while you are backing up the data but the the custody of the data the the visualization of the data is still intact with the owner of the data which is your vip users now in point migration utility is it nothing but a migration tool so from tomorrow today you are running on windows machine tomorrow if you are moving into the mac machine you do not have to you know uh, buy a new license the dlu license can be migrated from one in point to other in point as well so this is a beauty right other competitor in the market would not provide you this functionality so uh, the features if you have to you know name it here yes we continue the continuous backup data production scalable up to 130000 that means 130k plus in point in the same network with a single network it can scale up to 130k plus yes we are doing the encryption while backing up the data even in the rest or in the transit because we know that we are in the world of threats right so we can't take a risk user rights can be configured by the admin that is again possible unlimited data backup and deduplications possible but here deduplication doesn't require any license we don't charge a license for that right we do a deduplication five free of cost you do not really required a vpn to backup so uh, in the pandemic time most of us i would say all of us are working from home right so think of our users or think of a customer a company who doesn't really have a vpn right but they still want to backup their data employees data right except backup uh, veritas dlo most of the other you know most of the other probably ask for a vpn to configure a backup and then backup it but we do it over the van over the internet 
while doing that we are also making sure the data is should uh, is secure should not get leaked and tampered while backing up with encrypted format and this is uh, you know our dlo licenses this again first of all the requirement of deploying the dlo is it is a, not a mac banded solution it is a user based license that means you need to have a active directory because it authenticate your user through active directory and it supports only windows as a dlo master server client can be installed in me uh, mac or windows both but servers cannot be deployed on any other operating system other than that windows the license is again user based license with the pack of 10 and 100 so if you have 50 users you can take a 10 pack a uh, pack of 5 for a 10 if you have a 200 you can take a two pack of 100 users right so those are the license one and uh, yeah i would like to you know announce one more stuff here so 23rd of this month we are going to you know launch a uh, a very very strong and very advanced technology product for our cloud workloads for a saas applications let's say saas applications of o365 g suite and salesforce so stay tuned with us so we're going to tell you that we're going to back up most of your saas applications okay whether you are hosted in o365 whether you are using or subscribe a g suite or salesforce for that matter will be you know backing up those data as well right so uh, this is all about today's session starting with the entire uh, portfolio what we have we are not only called as a backup vendor keep it in your mind the veritas not only known for a backup we provides you a high visibility we provides you a digital compliance we gives you a data protection of course which is our bread and butter right so with that uh, i would like to hand over this to dilan if you could open the lines for the qa or if you have it on the chat we'll be addressing this now uh, thanks uh, prince so uh, we have another question actually it the uh, one of our customers asks you is uh, dlo different uh, is different product or does it come with net backup capacity based license no dlo is a different product altogether and uh, net backup is a different product altogether but i would like to tell you that you can deploy net backup and dlo on the same machine compute machine why because it doesn't really require so much compute right dlo is very lightweighted software but to be very precise yes you uh, you this is both a different different product and uh, we have a question from uh, one of our partners prince uh, it, he say he asks uh, can you have a mix of uh, 100 and 10 packs example 100, 100 and 10 clients yes yes you can take a pack of 10 one and take a pack of 100 one Yes, I hope you're, I, uh, you have answered the question. So, guys, uh, please feel free to uh, drop in your questions right now because uh, we will be uh, open for questions for the next few minutes. So, there is uh, again a query. Uh, I guess the answers is done, or uh, Harish has given the answers. Okay, there is another query. Is, is automated testing? Yes, again that answers. we have answered it so please open uh, i'm open for queries go ahead and post your queries or you want me to uh, elaborate anything in specific uh, in this training sessions please do ask we have a time i can go back again and explain you the same Uh, so prince i guess we'll uh, we are done with the questions so i think we can wrap up probably uh, they will come uh, the people who have uh, joined us today 
uh, will come back to us with the questions uh, moving forward. Uh, should they encounter something with their customers or if a partner encounters uh, something uh, in the so future? I just wanted to, you know, ask only one query mm -hmm. for, for all the attendees here. You just have, you can just say yes, whether this uh, session was informative for you or you want to, uh, you know, uh, ask us to improve anything in that. Okay, you can post your, uh, you know, acknowledgement here and then we can wrap up, no problem. And you can come back to me on my emails. Uh, Dilan has got my emails and the phone numbers as well. So Dilan would be the first point of contact and then he can consolidate all the queries to me and then I'll be answering it. Over to you, Dilan, if you have any queries or if you have any queries or closing point, you can just go ahead and deliver it. I think we're done with the questions, Prince. So uh, just would like to take the opportunity to... Okay, we have one more uh, question. Uh, okay, thanks. It's not a question, actually. So uh, there... Yeah, that was my request. And then I got the answers. Thanks, thanks, John. Thanks for your reply. Okay, so uh, uh, thank you, everyone, for attending uh, this call today. And uh, thank you for taking the time from your busy schedules, uh, given the times that we're in to... Uh, take some time and get to know more about Veritas and what it has to offer. So uh, do not forget the uh, new and improved uh, SaaS backup from Veritas will be out uh, soon. We will keep you updated on uh, the proceedings. And uh, once we get uh, the relaunch, will it be relaunched, uh, Prince? Would you like to elaborate on that a bit more? Or would it be the same? Yeah, so we're gonna, uh, we have enhanced the, the technology in a such a way that the, the, our uh, features with the previous tools will be, you know, in the advanced mode, you could say. Now it is with the very advanced mode as well. Okay, so, so I believe tuned. we should have a session on that as well moving yeah, forward. Yes, stay tuned. We will be delivering that session, dedicated session for that. Actually, we were going to do the SaaS backup today, but uh, I, it's very uh, after we sent out the invites is when we got to know that uh, there has been new improvements that has that's been made and the relaunch will happen very, very soon. So we will keep you updated on that as well. So again, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, uh, marketing team, for taking the time to organize uh, such a wonderful event. Thank you, attendees. Thank you to all the speakers. Thank you, Harish. Thank you, Prince. And uh, thanks, thanks. partner community for joining in. Thank, thank you once again. Have yeah. a good day. You too. Bye. Hey, thank you all.